Hello everybody, I'm going to present you today <coughs> the washing machine motor and we're going to present you today how to make it, uh, how to test it with the battery and as well how to make it spin a DC motor to make some electricity. For this project we're going to need a salvage uh, washing machine motor like this, it's called universal motor and other few parts. Okay, let's get to it. As I told you before, we're gonna need um, the motor. So, we're gonna turn it upside down and we're gonna see this particular model has a, a label on it. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Anyway, it's written here the pins. 8, 7 is labeled with a T and after that 6 is empty 5, 4, 3, they are connecting to 1 and 2 and 1 to some kind of R. So, for this motor to make it run without any circuitry and nothing, we have to first of all uncouple it like this. And we're gonna see, first of all, we're gonna see here two small wires like this. Let me light it up for you. Two small wires going in this side. These are the speed controller or something, and they are following the connector. You go, it's gonna take here. We're not gonna use this one, but we're gonna take a look of this. These are the brushes, yeah, one and two. They are labeled uh, some kind of bluish color and black one okay blue and black we're gonna see here so blue black three other wires and two wires so these two wires are for the speed we're not gonna use it these two black and blue connecting the other brushes and the other three labeled as uh, as in the front there are the the coils inside so to make this work we're gonna connect let me we're gonna connect like this we're gonna we have here that, that, that. we're gonna connect one brush with one of the three coils so one brush in this case is the blue one but doesn't matter so one brush with one coil the other brush is gonna stay focus like this see and uh, we have two more coils we're gonna use one just one in this case is this gray one doesn't matter which one they all work the same so we have connected one brush the blue one with one coil which is the orange one and the other brush is here and one coil is here these wires they go we're gonna connect them to a battery and this is it folks this is it I'm gonna be back so we're gonna use a drill uh, we're gonna take the battery off put it here and as I told you before one of the brush with the other coil let's test it fingers crossed here you go it's working can you see the noise we're gonna add some uh, scotch tape to the motor to see it actually spinning here you go we'll put it there again one brush and one coil here you go. This is it, folks. There you have it. There you have it. With the battery, you can run a washing machine motor. And it has quite a few power in it. Basically, what can you do with this one? You can even make an electric bike, or you can spin a DC motor to make some electricity, 
or many many things somebody else has done it many of them uh, all succeeded i'm gonna put the links in the description below so remember we got two brushes like this you have to follow the wires two brushes and three coils one brush we're gonna connect to one coil doesn't matter which one and we're gonna sort it here the other brush with another coil that's it folks it's very simple and now we're gonna connect them to a, to a small DC motor to see if it's got power to do something uh, actual work all right let me put it again to see huh? how about it pretty funny let me put some light on it yeah this is it folks nice and easy back here we go folks we have connected to the small DC motor I cannot hold it very nice but you can see it's actually working 9.88 but actually going more but You go 9.38.49 but actually more but I cannot hold it properly so this is it folks there you have it a nice experiment if you like to comment or something tell me others idea I would like it to write it below in the meanwhile have fun and recycle all you can thanks for watching Subscribe, thumbs up or whatever. Okay, dirty. Thanks. Bye bye.